Installation should be very straightforward. You just add my repository in here, http colon double slash premium dot lkc dot tools. Click OK. Browse packages, type render blocks and install the latest version. After this, you should set up your shortcuts. These are recommended shortcuts. 3, Alt F2, Shift F2, F2, Shift 2, 2, F8, Control Alt C and Control Alt W. And over here it's useful if you add some settings. And there is also icon. It's here, render blocks. So you can have settings available over here right away. Let's go through all the actions over here. If you create clusters and then destroy them, items will retain the colors of the blocks that they had. So if you destroy them, you can now see by just looking at the colors how they were grouped. But if you want to go back with the colors, you can run this action default item colors and it will change them back according to the tracks. Destroy, this is when you have a bunch of render blocks and you want to destroy them. Enter meta tag, this is if you have a bunch of render blocks and you want to enter some additional info. This is a comment, like that. Enter name without prefix, this is if you want to ignore SFX, so these will not be exported, nothing will be rendered. Enter name is the regular enter name, SFX explosion, which will work with the prefix. Pack clusters and enter name, this is the one we used uh, so far, this is what you should be using the most. So you're going to pack clusters and name them at once, so debris. Okay, again, pack clusters, it's just packing clusters. The cool thing about pack clusters action is that you can also run it when you already have some clusters. So let's say explosion. You can use this action to unpack them, unpack multiple clusters and pack them back again. In here, be aware that if you're doing something like this and packing back, that these will be separated. So imagine that there are no label items these two will be considered as a render block so if you want to pack this you will need to do this manually render script we already covered it but let's try again you can use item selection or time selection to render them they're going to be rendered in layers restore colors is when you have these white and you want to restore colors to edit them back but if you unpack them they will also have uh, colors restored Settings is just to open settings window and this is just some action I like to use because it's more clear and it's ugly when you have these names but if you're using render blocks you don't need these additional information you can just hide this and look at the names from the label items. Info useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.